Welcome back to CHE205. In this video, I'll be talking about how we can replace a function, uh, specifically the one uh, related to example 2.6 in a textbook, by another function, let's say, Vanderbilt's equation of state. So if you look at uh, example 2.6, so this is the textbook. In example 2.6, we solved a root finding problem using a function. And the um, the function in that example, so this, let me go to this example of uh, 2.6. Uh, yeah. So we use modified false position to find the root of a function like this, tan x minus x minus 0.5. Let's say I want to replace this function by Vanderbilt's equation of state and then use that subroutine that we developed before in video 5. Now for, um, the, for Vanderbilt's equation of state. This is particularly related to exercise 2.2. So if you go to exercise 2.2 of the end of the chapter 2, then this is basically asking you maybe exercise 2.1 and 2.2 both actually it's asking you to replace uh, the function in an example uh, 2.6 right here by the Vanderbilt's equation of state an example or exercise 2.2 is pretty much the same as 2.1 replacing you know some of the constants or maybe the guess values all right, so what I'm going to cover in this video is how we can replace the function we have there for tan x minus x minus 0.5 by Vanderbilt's equation of state. So get back to example 2.6. You can get the scripts from the um, Blackboard scripts tab. This is exactly example 2.6. And uh, we covered this in video, I believe, 5 or the video before this. Now, what I'm showing you is just a modification of the code such that we can implement Vanderbilt's sequential of state. So, in fact, the modification is pretty straightforward if you exactly know what we have to do. So, the point is we have to replace every call functions to tan x minus x minus 0.5, now this time to Vanderbilt's equation, Vanderbilt's equation of state. And to do that in a straightforward manner, what I'm doing there right now is I'm going to write a separate function called Vanderbilt's equation of state or Vanderbilt's that is on the function of V to volume. I want to basically reply or uh, return the root as V using this function, right? So my function now in terms of instead of X will be function of V, right? So initially it was this tan X minus X minus 0.5. And I was returning the root, which was, um, actually I take it back. So we were returning the function uh, using this script, using this part of the script, which was fcalc. Now, right now, we're gonna re we're gonna return the value of the Vanderbilt's equation by moving everything to the left side. So if you remember from, I think chapter one. All right, so this is the Vanderbilt's equation of state given P, A, B, R, T are constant, and I have them all of them here. We, we define them using the dim function, and then we assign some values to these variables. So I'm going to return Vanderbilt's, which is exactly the name of the functions that I have here. So that is a rule. In VBA, the name of the functions will be what is, what is going to return from that function. All right. And my input argument is v. So I start with the guess value. I come in with v value. I calculate the, the Vanderbilt's equation, and then I return this value from this function. My goal is to be to to actually get this value as close as possible to zero, right? Because when this thing is zero, that means the v that I use here will be the root. So the goal is to make this thing zero. Anyways, so all we need to do is we write a function called Vanderbilt's as a function of v, exactly what I have here, 
and then call it wherever we called fcat in the main function. So here's the main function or main subroutine, and there are a few instances that I call fcat. Two of them are here so where I calculate fcat at the x left and x right values. So I'm going to replace them by x left and x right, but this time using variables function, right? Remember, I don't even change these to v's, I just call them x because this is just a name. Whenever we go to the function, those names will have a different name, v, right? So, the only change in the main code will be replacing these functions by variables x left and x right. Even the left side doesn't change, you'll see that. All right, next is I have another call function for fcalc, replace it by variables x middle, or the crossing point, uh, as we discussed before. So xm was the crossing point that we calculated here. Here we evaluated using fcalc, but this time we're going to evaluate it using variables. The left side is exactly the same as before, is fxm. All right, let's look. Is there any other places that we have to change? I think that is it. So with only three places, we can basically do regular size 2.1 and 2.2. So let's do this, uh, give it a shot and run it and see what happens. Make sure the root, the, the guess values you have brackets to root. Okay, so anyway, so this one and five bracket the root. I think the root was about 4.2 or something. And then one and five definitely are on two sides of the root. So I guess. Okay, so I'm going to click on the code, go to the run button, reset it, make sure that nothing is run, nothing is um, uh, on pause or anything else, and then I'm going to run. There you go. So we've got a root, which is between 1 and 5, and this is, by the way, modified false position. That's why you see that the number of repetition is maximum 2, because, well, not necessarily, but whenever we get beyond one, we have the height of that. Let's say in this case, repeat unit goes from one to two, which means the right hand or the FR, FR I should be half from here to here. So you see that is 229 become 14. That is because we are repeating, we are not changing the right boundary. Like in this case, again, we are not changing the right boundary, so we have to half f of xr and you see that it actually gets half from here to here that means the code is working properly okay so this was how we can replace the function we had which was tan x minus x minus 0.5 by variable separation of state by just changing only four or maybe five lines of the code in addition to writing the script at the bottom uh, to be the function of variable's equation of state I hope this is useful. Thanks all for watching.